Let's face it, Easter egg hunts are going to be a little unconventional this year. I'm Cindy, and I'm a DIY paint retailer with Flipping with Color. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an Easter basket with some things you may already have at home. I'm starting with an old cardboard cigar box. I prefer the flip top kind, but you could use any box you'd like even if it has a conventional box top lid that lifts off. Use your imagination. I'll also be using these supplies. Let's get started. The first step is to paint the cigar box. I used two coats of Water Lily from DIY Paint for the outside. The next step was to decoupage a cute vintage bunny graphic I printed off graphicsfairy.com. This little girl on the outside, and I think we're going to set her at an angle about like that. We're going to do our decoupage with DIY crystal clear chandelier liquid patina. So here's a tip for just to get it open. I take a paint key, a paint can key, and just insert it under the edge and give it a little twist. Slide it along, give it another twist. Work my way around the can. Then it'll come open as easy as can be. I'm going to take just a chip brush and just generously put crystal clear liquid patina over the top of this. It's going to be my decoupage medium. Now that our liquid patina is dry on the top, we're going to put our image on that we got off of the graphics fairy, our cute little bunny, and she is precious. She says, Easter greeting, Miss Molly Cottontail is here. She carries my love and a basket of cheer. So I am going to place her about right here at an angle with the idea that I'm going to put some IOD molds around her. Now I use the iron-on method of decoupage. Um, there are lots of ways to do it. You just got to find the one that works best for you. And this is what I've discovered I'm most comfortable with. So I've got my crystal clear patina already on here and dry. I have my image and I'm laying it down where I want it. I take a piece of parchment paper and lay right over the top of it. And then I use an iron, a little craft iron, very carefully and very quickly because I don't want to melt everything around it. What I'm going to do when this iron goes on is it's going to melt the patina underneath and it will act like glue and adhere. And we won't end up with bubbles in our image because of the iron. So here we go. Very simple iron. Over the top. Now let's dress the box up in its Easter finery with IOD molds. Here's the supplies I used. Now it's really time to have some fun decorating this Easter basket. We're going to make some iron orchid design molds using the bunny rabbit. IOD air dry clay mold is amazing. This has less shrinkage, so you have less cracking. It's much softer. It's like a Play-Doh, and it is very easy to use. First thing I'm gonna do in my mold is just dust it with a little cornstarch. And all this does is just help my mold release a little easier. Okay, once I've dusted my mold with the cornstarch, I pulled out just about enough clay that I think will work in, my, in the mold I selected. I'm compressing very firmly because I want to make sure that I get all of those details and that I fill every corner of my mold. See those beautiful clean edges right there. 
Okay, so now the easiest thing next is we're going to pop the little bunny out of the mold. He's gonna come hopping out. So IOD molds are very flexible and the easiest way to do it is to just simply lay it down, roll it back, and let your form fall on out. And there he is, he's beautiful and he's perfect. We'll dress this box up even further with some edging. Now we're going to start gluing some of our castings onto our Easter box. Next, I painted the castings with a coat of water lily. We can't stop there though. Let's add some color to our Easter basket. You know, Easter egg hunts were always a little interesting for me when I was a kid. The thing that I remember was going to the park and all the eggs were out and there'd be the timer and they were three, two, one, go. And off you'd go with your Easter basket to find the eggs. And of course there were those special eggs that had special prizes hidden inside them. Inevitably, I couldn't see them, of course, but my parents would stand at the edge and they'd be yelling and pointing and hit, saying, there, 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 the egg is there. And I'd find it and I'd stand up and I'd stand there and I'd look at it and go, yes, yes, right there. And about the time that I did that, every time a kid swooped in in front of me and grabbed the egg. Last, I sealed the entire box with DIY clear wax, and then I polished it up with a coat of white wax and white back parts to highlight the details. To have DIY paint delivered to your door, contact the DIY retailer nearest you or check out flippingwithcolor.com. Happy Easter!